Okay, so I got to jump in at the uh, two minute mark of this video. My response to being censored, does it actually work? So David um, says, or rather Patrick that, that David says, you know, government, they, they can't censor the free press, but companies now, now they, they can restrict things more because those are more, pol well, he's not saying this, I'm saying this, or they're more political and they have specific bents and narratives. The problem is, is that you're not recognizing the graft between major media outlets and politics. Historically, certain political outlets have been closely associated with specific media outlets. Uh, the Bush era was a very good good example of that. The other problem is you're not recognizing that government is in the business wholesale, globally, CIA for instance, they have programs where they'll put in agents into companies to leverage their capacity to implement programs. And government has orders and restrictions and, and agreements with companies. Look at PRISM, for instance. They had people embedded within the networking system at AT&T to intercept and uh, do other things, perhaps. And that program continued on with mass surveillance and intelligence agreements where one government will do something for the other government and the other government does something for the other government uh, because they have legal restrictions, but they independently act on the other and then they do the bidding of the other and they assist the other. Five Eyes, for instance, with British and Americans were a good example. Uh, U.S. actions in the Netherlands, yada, 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 yada. This is all fairly uh, well-known public information now. <sighs> However, the, the, the other part of that is that, uh, wow, just had a memory wipe there. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I totally lost my train of thought and probably the heat. But you're saying government doesn't have the ability to censor media? Eh, wrong. They, they do. Um, cyber war and otherwise. They'll say XYZ did this attack, um, CNN's website is hacked, government websites are hacked. In fact is, all that stuff can be done under a false flag mechanism to achieve the same results. So I, I disagree. Um, if you think the government isn't doing things that are illegal, you're probably wrong. But fairly uncommonly, they actually get found out for these things. And even rarer do they actually get held to account. What happens is there's policy implementations after the fact, the same with torture, Abu Ghraib. Otherwise, they'll say, yeah, this stuff's been going on for a long time, but because people don't actually like this now that they know, maybe we'll uh, change our, our policies and we'll present to the public in a different way. So we won't do this anymore um, unless we need to. Um, the same is true with spying or censorship. If you think that if certain topics are not discussed, it's just under the mechanism of what falls within the scope of media censorship or government censorship of the media, it will happen. It can happen. But it's the conditions in which it happens. As far as Trump being able to shut down a media outlet, sure. The president has unrestricted access to issue an executive order uh, implementing something. Uh, and it's not reviewable up to six months. That's just how the executive order system works. So I think you're slightly mistaken in saying that they don't have the capacity to. It's just that uh, it, it would, there would be a massive public backlash if that abuse of power occurred because Americans, one would hope, are not willing to accept the president doing that. It's not that he's unable to. Same as what happens with Turkey for presidential power, shutting down media outlets. The laws themselves do not exist, but there are definitely mechanisms that can be taken to shut down a lot of the free press. It's just whether that's acceptable or not to Americans. Um, and don't think government doesn't have their fingers in the global major media organizations. They're very linked together.